Hey guys, Dan the Man, back with another video for you. Overheard someone at my work calling me a gun nut. Um, gun nut. Uh, and I started thinking about it, and you know, a lot of my family living in California, pretty liberal, which is something you couldn't call me. Um, politically, I'll, I'll stay off that topic for the most part, but you can tell by the 30 round magazine there that you're probably not uh, talking to a liberal guy. Uh, I'm not hardcore either way, but uh, definitely uh, also not a communist. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> thinking about it, trying to figure out why I do like guns, why I am a gun nut. You know, I probably should say that there was a time when uh, I didn't have as many weapons. In fact, I had one, one rifle um, and uh, current events have made me <laughs> decide that it's wise to uh, have forms of defense. Um, but would there be a time when, when I wouldn't have guns? There could be. And, and I think the people that I've, I've talked to that are most against guns, um, most of them don't have any experience with them. Um, we couldn't disagree more. Um, the time when I wouldn't have weapons is if there weren't weapons out there in the hands of the bad people. I'm not a bad guy. Um, the people doing the shooting are bad guys. Um, and uh, if you look at the majority, I mean overwhelming majority of the mass shootings, the school shootings, the movie theaters, the, the, the malls, um, these people were all mentally ill. And so um, I don't understand the argument that would uh, force me or people like me, you know, with no criminal record, no history of mental illness, no drug problems, you know, I'm no, I'm no alcoholic, nothing. Um, I don't understand people that would want to limit a person like me uh, from defending myself when you know that those bad guys are out there and they're not going to worry about your stupid laws. It's a fact. Um, they're not going to worry about your stupid laws. You know, in fact, I believe the reason why these shootings take place where they do in these gun-free zones is because, I mean, think, think about it. If you wanted to inflict the most damage, that's exactly where you would go. You know, you don't, you don't go to a hardware store to buy liquor. You know, you, if you know there's no guns somewhere, uh, and you want to inflict the most damage and pain, which is what these murderers want to do, of course you're going to go to a gun-free zone. Do I think that there should be guns in our schools? Unfortunately, I don't think there should be, or I, I wish there didn't have to be. But if these clowns are going to keep going to our schools and shooting, what do you think? Uh, I just don't believe how unrealistic a lot of these people are that are anti-gun. The guns are there. If you could... Get rid of them and, and tell me that these bad guys don't have them. I would turn every one of my guns in. But you're not going to do it. The fact of the matter is in this day and age, they're there. Hundreds of millions of them. You're not going to get rid of them. To think you are is a fairy tale. The only people that will turn them in are law-abiding people like me. Criminals don't give a damn about your stupid laws. So anything limiting me from having at least what the bad guys have... I say, you know what, you're barking up the wrong tree. So, um, and I know that's the far end of what a lot of people believe in. But uh, if you think that I'm going to live in a place like I do, where there are home invasions, drive-by shootings, you know, people on the strip shooting it up. You know, we have a murder every couple days. And, and I, I work there. It's my reality. I'm not, you know, I'm not making it up. I drive through that. If you live in Chicago in the city, you understand. If you're in Los Angeles in the inner city, anywhere, Miami, you understand how vulnerable you are. And for my government to limit me, a law-abiding person, you know, to limit me from, from being able to defend myself, to me, is an insult. Now, you know, most people, I believe, will go through life and, and they'll, it's not going to happen to me. But it does happen. And uh, I refuse to be defenseless. So 
that's my whole stand on the gun nut thing is uh, I have them because they do and uh, I intend to be at least on a level playing field with uh, these bad people uh, you know that have these the same weapons that I do and plan to use them for for evil purposes um, again when 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 the shit hits the fan or when someone uh, crowbars your window um, I hope you're able to defend yourself either that or I don't know can you outrun their bullets because I can't just a thought and so I came up with some reasons that uh, that I'm a gun nut and uh, maybe you think about them maybe you're a gun nut too maybe not but uh, number one you know I like to go to the movies Every once in a while a good movie comes out I like to take the family to the movies Number two, my kids go to public school. Uh, I'm not rich, can't afford to send them to, probably aren't going to go to Harvard. <laughs> we'll do all right, but uh, they, go to, they go to public schools. You know, although I really don't like it at all, sometimes I have to go shopping. It's around Christmas time. Matter of fact, today I'm going to have to break down and do a little bit of shopping. What you going to do? When seconds count, the police are just minutes away. The police aren't there to rescue you when something bad happens. They're there to write a report afterwards. Uh, I'm a veteran. U.S. Army, uh, qualified with almost every weapon that I could get my hands on. I'm qualified, I'm trained, and able to use weapons. I consider myself an expert. I don't trust the government. I believe in the Constitution, and I would defend my rights. I love my country. I do believe that we have many enemies, foreign and domestic. If you don't see that, your eyes are closed. Lastly, I can't run very fast. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to stand my ground. Don't like to run anyway. I'm kind of, kind of not going to run, if you know what I mean. So, maybe you're a gun nut. Maybe you're not. I I enjoy shooting. I've had, I've owned firearms all my life. I've never been arrested or had anything more than a parking ticket. I'm not the guy that you should be worried about. Uh, if you want to know who you should be worried about, just take a look, watch the news. Half of it's bull, but uh, I'm not the type of guy. And there's a lot of people like me that if you're in a movie theater and something goes wrong, you might want someone like me in that theater. Uh, and if your kids are at school in those gun-free zones, uh, you might wish that there was someone there that had one of these or at least something so that our innocent kids aren't victims anymore. Hey, maybe you agree, maybe you don't. That's my take on it. And that's why Dan the Man is a gun nut. Aloha.